What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the fact that Fortnite is actually finally dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Die line, die line with the bone pal. Every week now switch to a new staff. Two twelves in the back just blew out. Now, a couple of months ago, myself and some other YouTubers actually made videos questioning whether or not Fortnite was already dying. And the conclusion that we came to at that point was no, uh, Fortnite wasn't actually dying at the time. However, if we look at the stats now, it is clear as day that the peak of Fortnite was actually back in March and the game has slowly started declining since then. Now, of course, the game has been really popular this summer. Everybody's been talking about it, but that doesn't mean that it's still as popular as it was back in se season three when the game first started to blow up. Over on Twitter, I posted a poll asking if my followers still played Fortnite and the results were pretty interesting. Now, 36% of them at the time of recording this said that yes, it is all that they're playing. However, 38% of them said, yes, I do still play Fortnite, but it's less than I used to. And 26% of you said, no, I don't play. The game got boring. Now, what that means is that over 60% of people who answered this poll said that they don't play it as much as they used to, or they don't play it at all, which means that Fortnite is definitely dying considering the peak that it used to be at. And this data actually coincides perfectly with Google Trends. I'm gonna be showing some charts on the screen uh, somewhere around here, but if you take a look, the peak of Fortnite search, meaning the time that people searched for Fortnite the most, was the week of March 11th through March 17th, 2018 this was the most searched time in fortnite's history and since then it's come close but it hasn't quite reached that mark this means that over time people have been searching for fortnite less and less as the summer's gone on and currently fortnite search sits at a 77 out of 100 which is a pretty far difference from its peak back in march now of course this is continually taking data so if fortnite does something massive the interest could spike once again and pass that peak but so far we haven't seen that happen what's interesting is if we take a look at the interest of Fortnite over time compared to Call of Duty and Minecraft and clearly we have not seen anything like Fortnite in the history of the internet even Minecraft which was arguably the most popular game of all time and is still incredibly popular kind of had a steady rise up to its peak back in 2013 whereas Fortnite if you look at the graph for that game it just the game came out and it exploded shortly after another thing to note when looking at this graph is that Fortnite is still far far more popular in the search results than Minecraft or Call of Duty even if you combined the search volume of Minecraft and Call of Duty it still wouldn't come close to what Fortnite is being searched as of recently even though its peak is passed but now I want to talk about why Fortnite has actually already peaked even though the game is still in beta and this is a problem that was acknowledged months ago back in March actually by a lot of different people kind of complaining about some of the different features and the game balancing of Fortnite itself as we've seen as seasons go by they are opting to release frequent updates that include hype material or gimmick material like go-karts and shopping carts and porta forts and you know rifts and teleporting and all sorts of other stuff rather than focusing on what players actually want and things that keep the game alive for longer which is gameplay and balance for months now people have been asking for consistency with their shots especially with the shotguns as well as gun balance and it seems like they've nerfed the shotguns and they've nerfed a lot of things in the game um and really there's no dominant weapon at the moment instead of acknowledging this gun balance and fixing the consistency in the gunfights they've decided to just release updates that get a lot of clicks so fortnite's update pattern is kind of like youtube in that every single update is kind of hypey kind of gimmicky and it doesn't really address the core problems that Fortnite has. What would take Fortnite and push it into a realm where people around the world respect it as a game 
is actually having a viable esports scene which is not even close to what fortnite has done so far despite fortnite throwing millions and millions of dollars at its esports scene the game itself doesn't function very well as an esport as it is because there's not much competitive aspect besides building if fortnite's esports scene decided to go the traditional battle royale format where whoever is last alive is first place you get a lot of boring gameplay where people are camping and hiding and not trying to get into gunfights because they don't want to lose their shot at winning hundreds of thousands of dollars if you decide to go the most kill route then you have a lot of people spam building and firing shots and since they've never acknowledged the fact that there is massive inconsistency with a lot of the guns in the game there's still going to be a lot of randomness that causes some people to win gunfights and others to lose it despite one player potentially being far better than the other and still losing now because there's a lot of money on the line a lot of people are still active in the Fortnite esports scene but it's far from being perfect and it's far from having longevity because there's really not much that legitimizes it as an esport just yet so by now you might be thinking okay Omniarch so you're saying that the game isn't very balanced there's not much consistency it's too random and it's already peaked and therefore it's going to be declining because it doesn't have an esport if that's the case why is it still so popular on Twitter and YouTube and everywhere else why does it seem like Fortnite is everywhere still and the reason is actually pretty simple uh, over the summer there hasn't been any competition for Fortnite right there's been no huge game releases over the summer that can compete with it not only that but Fortnite strongly caters to the kid demographic I mean you have the bright colors you have the cartoony nature of the game you have all these gimmicky hyped up updates that come out all the time plus you have all these little dances and goofy things that little kids really really love I mean if you go to any mall in America and you go to a store that has computers on display you'll see kids trying to download Fortnite on these games just so they can run around and play in the game they don't necessarily want to do well they don't necessarily have to get kills to have fun they just like to spam their emotes and play with their friends and run around the map that's colorful and funny and goofy and has pinatas and all sorts of pops and explosions and and fun sound effects as of late Fortnite has just been riding the hype wave and they've really just been catering to their primary demographic which is younger kids YouTube loves Fortnite parents love Fortnite and it's for the same reason it's because there's no blood there's no gore there's really nothing that is not advertiser friendly right advertisers love it as well uh, because there's nothing that's offensive in Fortnite it's just lighthearted it's fun it's humorous and that's pretty much it probably the biggest factor of all is that the game is still free you don't have to pay any money just to play Fortnite plus the fact that it's on pretty much every console or handheld or anything that's out there that you can download at any time even if you don't have any consoles and all you have is a cruddy computer it's still probably gonna run pretty well even on lower end rigs the end result is that everybody can play Fortnite and there's really no downside for parents and for YouTube and big companies to promote it but that doesn't mean that the game as a game is very good or that it's very balanced or consistent and that's ultimately going to lead to its downfall in the long run now of course they could turn this around of course epic games could release version 1.0 that officially fixes all the consistency issues it fixes the gun balancing it fixes all sorts of issues that Fortnite's having right now but that's yet to be determined and as if right now if we're looking at Google Trends the peak of Fortnite was back in March uh, and so far it's just been a decline since then anyway I'd love to hear your comments down below let me know what you think of Fortnite in the comment section if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this has been OmniArc I will talk to you guys again soon Peace.